Hi everyone! Hi! Welcome to Knitistry Nerds Podcast, episode 44. I'm Katie. I'm Michelle. <laughs> uh, these are our mascots, Earl the Erlemeyer. And Rhonda the Round Bottom. Um, we are teachers in the upstate of South Carolina who knit and science. Love all things science. Um, and it's been om- over two months since we've done this. <laughs> yeah. So, if you've Summer's been, gone for us, and we're back to school now. <laughs> if, uh, if you've been here a while, you know that over the summer we don't really see each other much because we're just running and running and running but if you're new here we welcome. talk constantly yes we do. welcome for newbies uh, we hope you stay thank after you for the coming back after the long hiatus if you came back yes, we appreciate that um we have a lot to talk about uh we don't think we're gonna get to want to do today guys um yeah well maybe a little here and there but with, with yarn we we show but just know somebody it's spent a lot of time shopping this summer <laughs> It won't happen to me. <laughs> I, got, I got paid a lot. <laughs> she, some, she works an extra job. I did. I did. So I could buy some things. So. Yeah. So she did. Can do some, we'll do some shout outs and things like that. But yeah. So I got a lot, a lot of acquisitions we got to get through today. So we're going to get started. Um, yeah. So last time we were we talked. You were about to head to we Texas. Talked to, I, was, I, I was like three days away from going mm-hmm. to Texas. And I was in Texas longer than I expected to be. I was there about six weeks. Uh, for almost six weeks and I didn't get back here until the 10th or almost the 10th of July it was almost middle through July yeah it was and tell you exactly. Katie went to Texas while I was when about Still, the time I got here yep. got back home to South Carolina and um, we turned around we started we started professional work days um, teacher work days on the 25th of July so I came home and immediately did a couple of things, but mainly <laughs> I had a shoulder attack and couldn't lift my arms, couldn't knit, couldn't do anything for almost two weeks. So it's it, it's been a summer, and yes. I uh, finally got my cortisone shot, whatever they call it, steroid shot, and I, my elbow, my arm, whoop whoop, can reach over my arm head again. I can knit again, and um, started school. So here we go. Just by the way, I know I've said this before on the podcast, I'm going to say it again because I say it every stinking day. This is my last year teaching. I'm done on May 22nd. It over. It over. <laughs> Moving on to other things. So, you came there you home go. the 7th. I came home on the 7th. Yep. There yep. we go. See, she. And we came home the 10th or 11th? Yeah. 13th. We came home the 13th. It was the next week. I know yep. it was almost a week between your, yeah, your, yeah. my arrival and your arrival. But then I was in, indisposed at that point. So, yeah. Um, it's just been, it's been one of those summers. Yeah. I busy, busy. started the summer after we filmed. I did AP reading in Tampa, which was a lot of fun. This was a week of just grading tests. Um, met a lot of people. Had a really good time. Including knitters. Including knitters. Yes, I found some knitters. Uh, we'll talk about that um, in a little bit because <laughs> we, we did a, a shopping trip. And then um, came back, and then we, Zach and I kind of piddled around here a bit, and then we went to Texas for two weeks to see my sister and uh, her husband and her puppies. So, yeah, that was, I like being in Texas. I like being at home. I don't like the drive in between the two. (laughs) It is a lot. So, um, but yeah, that was essentially my summer was a lot of working on my online job, working for AP Reading, and then seeing Rachel and Trevor in Texas. So, yeah. Which was good. It was good. It was very good. So. All right. That's a catch-up. I know catch that we've we gone a long time, and that's not much, but we it was really a lot. We don't really do much. Well, I mean, it's, we do a lot, but there's nothing really of note to talk about, I guess. Like, it's just... I really don't even think that we, we just existed. We, did. we had a good... We I had existed. a good summer. I had a good visit with Daddy. It was it and was a pretty my good summer. Family, yeah. so it was like, a good summer. I feel like I had a good good amount of things going on. Yeah, so. and everybody's right now. Knock on wood, everybody's doing good. So let's talk knitting. Yeah, I'm wearing one. Do your fo. Well, with an S. Yeah. Okay, this is not a recent fo, but I am wearing it, so I'm going to show it off. This is a test knit I did last summer. Um, and purchased the yarn at Yarn Shop in Enid, Oklahoma when I was up there visiting. I didn't have time to go back to the yarn shop this summer, but I was in Enid. Um, we went to Oklahoma for a week. So um, this is the May MAE Drop Tea by Bloom Create, Imogen A. And um, 
the yarn is, this is a hedgehog fiber tonal. The navy is from Emma's Yarns. I think it's navy, blue, I think is what she calls it. And then the color changing yarn, the, the color work and then the bottom edge is it, um, a Primrose Homestead Sport. I've not got a clue what color names are. Um, I had to look all that up in our show notes from a year ago, <laughs> a year ago. To, in order to figure this out. But it's been almost exactly a year. Yes since I finished it and wore it the last time. I guess we should talk about that. That way, anybody watching that wants to like leave after, we can talk about this weekend. Oh yeah, this weekend, oh yeah. So for those of you who are just drop-ins and disappears, which is fine, yeah. but any so, amount of watching is cool. When we were watching the episode a year ago, it's essentially a year ago to today because we were talking yeah. about going this weekend. So Southern Comfort Fiber Fair, Fiber Fest. Fiber not sure show. Which, fiber show. Not sure what it's called. I have a little thing at home that's got a ruler yeah, on it. I, I did too. It has a beautiful it, rainbow and sheet. Charlotte, North Carolina. Look up Southern Comfort Fiber and you will yeah. find it immediately. So if you're anywhere in the Carolinas, in Georgia, anywhere, or feel like traveling this weekend, on Friday and Saturday, mm -hmm. August 9th and 10th, from 10 in the morning till 5 in the evening, okay, both she, days. She knows all the times too, guys. Honey, I'm listen. <laughs> we don't usually have that. I was going to say, it's in the show notes. But. There's this much room in my brain for things. I put it, all that She's stuff in there. Um, well, I've been trying to organize it because we're going to um, we're gonna go on Saturday. Mm -hmm. But we're going to go up and pick my daughter up. She's going to a country music festival concert the night before with friends. And they're staying in Charlotte right near the venue where the show is i mean 0.25 miles oh yeah so we're going to pick crazy. her up in the morning and she's going to the show with us which i'm so excited about because she just started knitting and she's i'm so excited about having oh i'm trying not to overwhelm her y'all i really am it's so hard but you're too excited so, but i'm really excited she did it on her own i didn't push i didn't even she just all of a sudden started knitting made that baby blanket that's so cute Love and it. she's got friend all kinds of friends who've just had babies whose names all start with vowels that must be the thing and um so she's wants to go with us and she's really into it so she's going to get to meet some of the people i talk about all the time because mm -hmm. um patrick's <laughs> patrick andrew andrew uh, from brow patch fibers hey baby uh we're going to see him this weekend and julie from button jar studio bags so we're going to see her they both have bags waiting for me <laughs> can't so wait excited. can't wait and uh Channy Pea's corn is going to be there and we're going to get some buttons and pins and then no 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 that's a different one i hope yeah, lynette's there yeah, hope our lynette's crochet there queen too. enabler and um yes, those from our first. meridian mill Ooh, are oh, going to yeah, be there them. and they've got yarns and fibers and just oh my god luscious things so we're super excited about yeah we can't wait to go event. and see everybody so um we love this event mm -hmm. and we can't wait to go we're going saturday so if you want to like we're going to be on our saturday we'll, sa we'll probably wear a matching shirt you'll do our i knit periodically shirts we can yeah just do those yeah yeah right. so well, it's too hot to wear a sweater that we oh knit. yeah it's way too hard heart heart it's way too hard other thing we need to talk about before we move on to your fo okay is the southern uh animal fiber what is it southeastern, southeastern animal, animal fiber, fiber fair fest. saf saf in october okay in october are we going Friday? What day was it? It's Friday night. We're going Friday night. We are staying in a local area, um, but we're near meeting, the airport. Near the airport, we're meeting at the. What do you remember which hotel it was? Gosh darn. Angie, hi. Tra the traveling yarn yogi. Hey Angie and Pearl. Hey Pearl. Hi Pearl. Um, that's the bus. That's the bus, and she's going is organizing a stitch in i don't know what else to call it and it just hanging out and stitching together on friday night i think from six to ten i'm looking it up right now i completely forgot about it until we started talking. in my head it's six to ten so if that's not right i'm sorry but that's that's what i've got logged into my brain and um we're gonna be there for this for the stitching together and we're gonna spend the night at a hotel close by we couldn't get into that one but we're gonna be close it's the by. holiday inn um is where the stitchy thing is going to be and um it's considered arden but it's near the airport six to ten in the lobby um she wanted us to advertise so we're advertising yeah so but, yeah yeah this is october what date no it's not there okay why is it not there i have it on my phone calendar just one Let's do that. second it's like the first weekend in october right yeah no second second Oh, my stars. Do I not have it on here? Oh, dear goodness. I it's think it's a Friday the 11th. I want to say it's Friday the 11th. I'll look it up, Saf. I think so. 
I know we're not prepared, guys. We're, we're going to get in the hang of it. I think we're better prepared than we've ever been. Look at our notes. We have notes. I just forgot about this we, one until yeah, we Yeah, we forgot talking. about this stuff. But we want to get this in. So, yes. Angie, if you go to Angie's website, the Traveling Yarn Yogi, I'll put a link in the show notes. And um, I'll look all this information up and make sure it's in the show notes so y'all can just scroll in there and look at it. But um, she's planning this, and, and I don't know how her signups are going to work or any of that kind of stuff. But um, we're going to be there and hanging out and getting goofy because that's all we know how to do is get goofy and um, knit and hang out. And then the next day, we're going to be at SAF probably most of the day. Yes. And then going home. I, right now, we're not planning on being there on Sunday, just Friday night at, for this event and then all day Saturday. So we'll see y'all there. Again, this is a, this show is getting this bigger is and bigger and bigger. It's in multiple buildings now. Mm-hmm. And, um, we're super excited because Red Stag is going to be there. Yes. Uh, Josh from Red Stag. We're yes. so excited to meet He's you, Josh. He's been planning to do, be there. And um, oh, all, kind of, all the vendors. I mean, it's just lots of Miss Bab shows up. Mm-hmm. Um, Forbidden Fiber is going to be there again, I think. I hope so. I'll I her think because we but met her last moved. year. They just moved. So I'm not sure if she's going right. to make this show or not. But um, it's where we met her last year and we I loved meeting her. Um, October 18th through the 20th. So it's the 18th. 18th. Okay, so Friday the 18th, Friday the 18th is when we're going to do the knit thing and at the show on the 19th. I need to put that on my calendar. Write it down. I need forget. to do that. Um, Sad. We're super excited because we get to sit down with a lot of you. We're hoping and like knit and hang out. But definitely, if you can make it, we would love to see you. It's guys a great there. show. It is a great show. And we'll talk more about the logistics of what we're doing when the, when it gets closer to that time. But we just want to put that out there because I know some some people might have to make plans to be there Friday yeah. and that kind of thing. So um, we're excited to partner with we Angie really on are. this. Like we're not really doing anything; we're just showing up. But we're excited to yeah, we're to join Angie. So. We're gonna be hanging out. Angie's so much fun, y'all. You just hanging out with Angie. She'll be there this time. weekend. Usually, she's usually there this weekend. So I think yeah, she's parked out weekend. front. She's yeah. gonna be par- yeah, she parked Pearl out front. It's awesome. So you can be Angie. Yeah. This so we'll see Angie too. first. <laughs> Yes, we all. Okay. Oh, she has these mystery bags. I love the mystery bags. Love the mystery bags. We love that stuff. So, um, all right. So there we go. Future events. We, I feel Future like it's important. I know we kind of just. It's that's our Rhine bag. Yes, that is that is our Rhine bag. Saf and Saf and Charlotte are our. Yeah. Like how Northeast has got all those shows, and one of these days we're going to make it there. But these are our southeastern shows that that we all show up for and, and are getting there and Charlotte's growing the Southern Comforts one is growing but SAF is huge and it's 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 quite a show and we're really excited about it right. I have I have FOs we're, oh they're behind me yes yes her FOs so now we'll move on we've done what we're wearing of future events and FOs Ta-da. look this is the Burmy Basic 22 meaning it's the 22 stitch gauge of the Burmy Basics now Beth McDonald Stone is, and you know I test it for Beth whenever I possibly can um, I love her patterns they're just the best shapes and uh, the striping is me I saw that striping on another sweater and another pattern I own and I just decided to merge that stripe pattern into my Burmy basic and it's made out of linen is that the linen it's, one? it's silk and wool it's called silk and wool from Harrisville Designs out of Maine and all the colors there's a let me pick the sweetie pie up here see the brown oh, and this the works perfect periwinkle <laughs> and the then the natural linen color is in the background all three of them are Harrisville Designs silk and wool uh, that I've had in my stash well I didn't have enough of the linen color but luckily our my local lofty fibers um, Dawn had some that she had been carrying, I'll be honest, on the clearance rack, but I cleaned her out. And um, so I had plenty, I've got enough to do, I've got plenty of the purple left. And I used up all my brown, because I only had one skein of it, but um, I still have some linen too. So I'll see this yarn some more, because I really like this. This I'm, is cute. I'm gonna make a, another one in the, just the purple. I'm gonna make a solid sweater oh, yeah. of some kind, not this design, but, but anyway, the Burmy Basics, um, Beth has done, Eight. There's a lot. All different. It's the same pattern, but it's got different stitch gauges. And so there's the 22 stitch gauge, 22 stitches per four inches, which is what I test for. But I know she goes. I think it goes up to a 14, 12 or 14. Yeah, it's, it's all the way down to a 28. 
so you can use fingering white all the way up to heavy air and bulky and um, there's a pattern written for that weight of yarn for that gauge and it's a, like all of Beth's patterns it's fabulously written easy to understand um, it's just a great pattern I had a lot of fun doing it um, I made some alterations it's a long the patterns written for long sleeves I made short um, I did the, the striping I did the an alternate color bind off on the all the edges I, well this was a cast on this is a bind off and then the bottom I did a split hem high low split hem yes the strings are still hanging it has not been blocked or <laughs> the end sewn in but I can't wear it yet it's too hot it's way too hot <laughs> another month or so and it'll all be done I'll wear it on my, on one of the next episodes but anyway so I got the high low hem and it I, I put it on and took pictures so it's on Ravelry and um, on our Instagram so you can see it there actually on the body I think it looks pretty good I knocked funny. Rhonda over. Oh, Rhonda. Rhonda took a dive. Okay, so there's... That's one of my FOs from this summer. And here is another one. I worked on... This is one of my... I call it my pissed off cow. Pattern. Better than pissed on. Because the first one, I was doing that beautiful hat pattern of Andrews for Briar Patch Fiber. I'm going to make that hat again. I got all the way and I ran out of yarn right there right. and it was that beautiful brown uh magnetage that i've got no malbrigo malbrigo yeah and um so i ripped that hat out and immediately cast on a linen stitch cowl because i was pissed off and i needed but i wanted to work with that yarn so i just made a linen stitch cowl well after i took it off the needle so i needed something else that was kind of brain dead broom broom nascar go around in circles so i made another one this is an odd skein and again it wasn't a full skein it's also a Malab... No, this I'm one's Malab sure Tosh. They're both Malab oh, I have the, oh, the label. Look at you. I got the label. I'm so proud of you. I think they were Malab both... Because it was single. They were Malab singles. They were both Malab singles, singles that I had. That the worsted I had. that they don't make yeah. anymore, right? This is Tosh Merino. Yep, this is the Tosh Merino. They don't make that. They don't make this exact single anymore. And it is called High Low. High Low. Isn't that pretty? I think that's going to be awesome to wear. This won't last long around my neck because it's 90 something degrees and Katie's air conditioner doesn't work. That was a surprise for coming back to school. Katie's air conditioner died. Um, but see, it's just real simple. It's just a circle. I cast on 120 stitches and I seed stitch for however long I got yarn for, bind off, and ba dump bum. That's it. I, seriously, it's not like it's even worth writing up. I do it on size 8 because it's worsted. It doesn't make any difference what size you use, but there you go. Not blocked, won't ever block it. Just gonna sew in the ends and wear it when it's not this hot. So there we go. Two FOs. Two FOs for the summertime. Probably should have more to show for that, but oh. y'all in the bowels of Texas and the plains of Oklahoma, it is very, very hot. So what did I do while I was down there? An awful lot of crocheting with bamboo. Um, so, I have a lot of crochet squares to show in a minute. Yeah. So, that's that's my finished objects. Sorry there's not more. I guess we can talk about some. I would have, I've gotten a bunch of my whips closer to being, yeah. to being yeah. done. I've worked on a lot of whips. I, I took you. a bunch of old projects with me and I've made progress, but still nothing done. No, yeah. Nothing I'd, done. I worked on a bunch. I really I did. Yeah. Um, I had two flights and then the travel to and from Texas and time in Texas. So I did a bunch of work. It's just not, I never Nothing focus on yet. one enough, something long enough to finish. But um, You want to do whips? Sure. Uh, I have two cast, like two new ones, and then I've got four older ones, I think. So one, two, three, four. Yeah, I've got four repeats and two new ones. I have one, two, three. Or five repeats and two new. Okay, so I'll let you start because you got the uh, the more. Okay. Oh, the one you're working on. <laughs> okay, well, I'm in the middle of a row, oh. but yeah, I can do that. Um, you want me to start with old ones or new cast ons? It doesn't matter. Okay. Whatever you want to start with. I'm gonna well, I will tell you, I ripped out Garter Abyss. <gasps> the Stephen West that I've been working on for well over almost two years in the yeah. shades of blue from Emma's yarns. I love those blues, but I, 
I just couldn't face anymore. And I was only on, I'm only on, I was only on color three out of five. And I just, you know, sometimes you just lose it on a project and I didn't want to pick it up. I just kept moving the bag around and I finally said, I want that yarn to be something. So I ripped that whole thing out. It was well over 1600 stitches on the needle. Oh, I'm sure. I mean, it was way gone. And I, but I ripped it all out. It's all back in balls and sitting and waiting for it to be something else. I'm gonna do a sweater out of it. I'm gonna start light and work my way down to navy. So I'm wearing these pants. And it was funny because she sent me the message and I had just been contemplating doing the same exact thing, but I made a, a decision that I'm, I think I wanna finish it, but I only to do four colors. I'm gonna just do four and be done. Cause it is huge with five. Um, yeah. So I think we had, we both had that thought of like, this is just not fun anymore. And but. I wasn't having fun. And I, I I'm too old to not be having fun with what I'm doing. It's so. been my, I'm reading, so I knit on that because oh, that's it's a lot easier. It's the easiest project I have to knit and read with. I'll do another one. Go for it. Wait, I didn't, that wasn't you, really You one. haven't done that was, that was a frog. I just stuck a frog in the middle of the whips. All right, so this is now my oldest project on the needles, and I actually got quite a bit done. All right, this is Crown Wool's by Casapinka, and Casapinka wrote this pattern to be for minis. Like if you've had a 12 set of minis or a 24 set of minis, it's it's really colorful. It was an Advent um, mystery knit along, wasn't it? I think it was originally. I think so. I, I really do think it was. But um, And when we were in Tennessee three years ago now? It was 2017. Uh -uh, it was later than that. No, it was. It was. It would have been nineteen. Nine. No, it was the summer of nineteen before COVID. Before COVID. Yet. Yeah. So it was summer. Yeah. So that's been Dang. five years. Really? Oh. Okay. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Long time. <laughs> anyway. Um. Ellen's sonnets, yarn, the booth because we see them at uh, SAF every yes. year. Yes. She did it in just three colors. Mm -hmm. And I'm in love with this. I know I've talked about this every year. I've, I mean, I've been talking about this for ages. And I love it. I've got multiple pictures of it from Tennessee and from SAF every year. I think every time I take she more it. pictures of it every time I see it. And then and, she gets on a kick and where she knits on it for a little while. Uh, yeah, I do. But And I'm using all Nerdy Bird yarn. Well, no, one of them is this Ellen Sonnet yarn. Mm -hmm. And then the other two are Katie, uh, Katie's Nerdy Bird yarns. But, y'all... Okay, I'm making a lot of progress. All right, so there's the wow, start. Wow, yeah. Oh, and that looks really good. <gasps> Here we go. Okay, I'm impressed. This looks so much see, better than your picture. Can you see where, um, where's, where's my little doodad dude? Here. Nope. I just saw Right him. there. That's how much progress I've made this summer. See the progress keeper? It's the Lorax from Dr. Seuss. You know, I teach environmental science every once in a while. So the Lorax is part of my teaching. And, um, so I've made that much progress this summer. That looks really good. And that pretty. So this is a miss. This is a lab experiment from Katie that she can't do. I can't. I can't make it again. Now the sparkly though. Okay, I'm going close for the sparkle. Is um, electromagnetic spectrum. Electromagnetic spectrum EMS. I got to name that one. I'm so excited. <laughs> this is my favorite yarn. I love it. See those colors. And I. Don't, I don't know if the sparkle is showing or not, but that is the sparkliest, prettiest. Do I have a ball of it in here? I might have the ball. That might work. I have a little bitty ball of it. I have more I have more skeins of this. There. See the sparkle? Yeah. There you go. That is the prettiest yarn. Oh my god, I love this yarn. And um If I, I had any and I told her I had them, she was gonna buy them. I'm yeah. Like if I go find some, I bet you Michelle would buy them right now. Oh I would. I bought all she had already died up and if she dies anymore I'm, it's mine um, this was the Ellen Sonnets that most of the first part of it is and the last part of it because that yarns already that's all that's left of that one so I've switched to the the lab experiment and now this is Forbidden Forest did I say that right yep yeah this is Katie's Forbidden Forest on a single which is also a beautiful gorgeous I've knit a sweater out of this mm -hmm. this is one of the um, Caitlin Hunter sweaters I did out of this and I love this yarn I also love this yarn. So I'm going to finish out. It'll be this striped with electromagnetic spectrum. And I'm just all about this shawl. I have, the problem, and the reason it's taking me forever to do is because I have, it's a chart. The whole thing is charted. Every 
different stitch pattern is a chart and you've got to keep track of rows and I just pulled stitches off the needle. Mm. Excuse me one second while I panic. Don't panic. Um, and now the yarn is rolling across the classroom floor. Okay. I will say if uh, you want electromagnetic spectrum, Michelle would love it if you would contact yes, me. Yes, because then she'll ask dye for some it, for me. And then I can dye some for her too. So if that is something you're interested in, just reach out. I'll, I'll, I'll Seriously, y'all, I'd, I'd need a jumpsuit in it, a two, you know, or a tracksuit. I really I'm surprised would. she has them already. I just don't have enough of it. I've got three, four skeins now. Oh, that's it? I, that's all I got. That was what you had left. Oh, that is what I had left. And so one of them is, I'm probably going to have to dip into one of them a little bit for this, but that gives me, I'll still have three plus to do a sweater with. Yeah. Um, so I can do a whole sweater in electromagnetic spectrum, which I just absolutely love. Um, but yeah, so I've made, I've made good progress. That's a lot. But again, I can, I can only do it when I'm sitting still which is hard for me and I have the brain power to follow a chart and track every row that I'm doing and because um, it's not intuitive I mean each stitch pattern some of them get intuitive where you, you know what you're doing but then you got to switch it's time to change and go to a different stitch pattern and you got to relearn one which I love don't get me wrong I like that change because ADHD boom um, but you just have to be in the, the moment I got to be in that right mode moment most of the time I need something that's just brainless or it's something I know how to do it without having to track every single row. I love having that kind of stuff to do, like with color work and stuff. Mm -hmm. But if I don't have the time or the brain power for all that, so it takes me longer to get those kind of projects done. It just does. Um, okay. All right, you want me to again? Yeah, you turn? go. Because I've got one, two, three, four, five, six and things okay. left to talk six. about. Okay. So are we doing old things? Is that the, the process? I just happened to do my oldest Okay, first. your oldest. Let's see. My oldest that I have is probably this one. All right, this is the Iris Raglan by Maven Crafted in the Barnyard Knit Slub. You guys, if you've been here, you've seen this one several times. I just made a lot of, not a lot, not even a lot. Wow, it's like less than an inch of progress, but. It's progress. Progress. So. This is barnyard knits. Barnyard right? knits. Yep. And I think it was like ice cream something or um Sunday something Sunday. Caramel. Caramel Sunday. Caramel I think that was caramel Sunday. Sunday. But it has this cute little eyelet looking raglan. Raglan. To it. It's a nice little summer shirt. Uh, I'm excited to have it done. It just was one of those that ended up in the back of everything because I don't even know why. Like I, I took it with me. Well, this one took up a lot of time while I was in Texas. So. Yeah. Um, so. I'm excited. I'm so excited it's about pretty. this one. It's going to look done. really good on. It will. But so there's Irish Raglan. Progress. Yay. All right. Here's one. Oh, and this is in a Katie Did bags. Katie Did. Um, this is one of her older styles that has the bag. It's a bowl. Yep. So you can pull it down and it makes a bowl. A bowl and then you snag it back up. and. Um, yeah, Katie did makes great bags. And mine was in a wool needle thread, which we love her bags too, so. Um. Total bag bag ladies here. Oh, Total yeah. bag ladies. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Do you want me to do another one? Go for it. Next oldest would be my Alder Grove. I haven't mentioned this in I know year and a half. But I was looking for we were getting ready to start back in professional development meetings and all day meetings and I needed a vroom vroom and instead of casting on something new I went back and looked at my whips to see what did I have that was at that point where I could just go around and around and around and Alder Grove popped up. Alder Grove is by um, Andrea Mowry. She came out with the it was her Rhinebeck one two was years her ago? Bi yeah two years ago I think oh, oh, three so and um, so you can see that's top down. I mean, the, the neckline is not done yet, but the, you can see that there's short rows in the back. That green is a Malinotage uh, sport of some kind. I don't remember which, and I didn't bring my labels with me. The um, mohair here is a variegated mohair from Barocco, um, whatever their aerial. It's aerial. I don't remember what colorway, but aerial. The grayish purpley kind of color, the background color, is co uh, composition book gray in Tosh Sport from Manlin Tosh. The, 
color changing is from is it yarn hero it's yarn it hero it's yarn hero right it's a yarn hero pastel -y color change this is it all wound up into a ball so there's the colorway I don't remember what it is it's in previous show notes I'll try to find it or find the labels that go with it um, but so those are the four okay. yarns so obviously it's top down so I'm just I'm in the body now so I, I last time y'all saw it I, I had not divided for Here, this is it had I divided for shoulders yet looks like it you were I had just done, just done. I, not you were about to sleep. I had just done sleep. Either you just so, done it, or you're about to do it. Yeah, so I'm I'm that far since the last time y'all saw it. That was all professional development meetings. I'm going round and round on the body. It's uh, so many rows of just plain stockinette, and then you do the little slip or two by two pattern, little color work pattern, and the color change and then keep going so it's I don't have to mark the rows down I don't have to keep track I just measure every once in a while and keep on keeping on so that's turned into my meeting sweater and I've been working on it I'm, I'm excited about getting this done for this winter mm -hmm. because I love these colors it's really pretty it, and it's, it's and really it's, good together yeah it's and it's muted it's not going to be a real bold knock your socks off kind of like some of the things I do <laughs> I, that I don't wear I mean that's the thing is I wear muted colors and solids. I don't wear a lot of prints and stuff. I lied. That wasn't my oldest whip. Uh oh Gosh darn. I've had Story, time. Story time. Story <laughs> time. Story time. Ah. All right. Um, pick this up. I was trying real hard to finish it um, on the way to and from Texas, and it just got to a point where in Texas it was way too hot. Oh, I forgot about this shawl. I know. I did too. Oh, I do I... love this. All right. This is the spi on the spice on market. On the spice market. Um, I wrote it down. It is Melanie Berg. Uh, this is in Mrs. Babs Two Ply Yummy. We had bought this yarn for another project, The Knights Who Say Knit. Yeah. We both bought a kit and then we just couldn't. We couldn't do it. So this is on the spice market with that kit that I bought. Hold on me. It's beautiful. I love these colors. I'm excited to have it in. done. Do the. Do, 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 there it goes. So I only have three more rows of these little boobles. The speckles. Uh, and then I start like the there's more almost like waves essentially at the very end. So yeah. there's like some waves it's going on. It's almost chevroni. Yes, um, chevroni. But I, I love this pattern. I just hadn't made it yet. I did I want this. To do. That's about as much as you did on your sweater. So yeah. That, that's how. Yes. That's awesome. Okay, that's how much I did on on the trips. Um, yummy toes. Yummy toes. Yummy toes. Yummy toes to to the two ply. Yeah. Well, they are the toes. Yes, because the the white the is. The, the it's just yummy. Two ply is the creamy. No, no, no. The, the creamy is an undyed that I had. Oh, that's your undyed. Yeah, it's fine. I just whatever yeah. I had. So the um, the colors are a, a pack of toes, yummy toes. Okay. Which they're 133 yard, 30 gram. I don't I remember. Don't, I don't know. They're, but they're 133 yards. I know that. I remember that part. Each one of them. They come in packs of seven or five, I think. And mm -hmm. anyway, it's. It's gorgeous, yes. y'all. If the video is not going to do it credit, how pretty that really is. It, I bought them because I liked how they were look like jewels. I was going for like a whole jewel, jewel tone. tone kind of thing. So they're that really was my pretty. Process there. Very pretty. Okay. Okay. This is the next oldest in my criminal minds bag from Fate's Thread. Um, who's going out of business it's, oh, she no. still has a few bags I think listed online but she's just oh. about out of business but this is my criminal minds BAU read bag okay in here I've been doing this forever is the Cory in Poncho don't remember who it's by don't look at me it'll be in the show notes I'll link it in the show notes I have been working on this for a long time, and it's definitely, a, now that I've finished all the increase, well, I haven't finished, I'm still doing the increases. It's basically a big old raglan sweater that you never split for sleeves on. It's just a poncho, all the way up. So, um, I'm at the ribbing at the end. You're almost done. I'm supposed to do, I want to say, eight inches of ribbing. I, I got you that like six-ish? Yeah, That's something like that. I'm getting close. You are. Yeah. I really am. I'm getting close. And I got my rip wheeler. Needle stoppers. Needle stoppers. 
from, I don't even remember where I got them from. That was an accident. Um, actually, I don't, Yay, she doesn't remember. <laughs> I don't remember. Yay. Um, I really don't remember, but I love Rip. He's my favorite character on Yellowstone. Anyway, um, I'm almost done, and I'm going to finish this before yeah. cold weather hits because I want to wear it. I'm so excited about it. It's in DK from Legacy Fiber Arts, mm -hmm. and the colorway is Kirk Gleason. I was going to say, it's some kind of... It's a reference to a character from a show I didn't watch. But I remember the name. I don't know why. I'm surprised she remembers the name. I know, but it's like rainbow on gray. Gray, yeah. And it, so it's got a rod of green to it. Mm -hmm. I just, I really like this yarn. I love the way it's working up. I can't wait to wear it. It's going to be awesome. Yeah. Your turn. Okay, my turn. All right. Uh, I have five rows of knitting done on Australia by Andrea Mowry. So that's, just, that's, that's the the progress there you can kind of see this one just takes a while like I feel like I worked on it a lot because I took it to Tampa I took it to Texas um, but I think the problem is is that each row takes a really long time like one side is just knit you knit the row the other side though is like purl one and then knit through the, the bottom loop kind of so yeah. you get that fit, um, half fisherman's rib which I really love the look of so I'm super excited about the way it looks um, the it's yarn, a gorgeous sweater. Yarn is pearls and postulates. One of them is hydrocarbons, and the other is, I think, if we remember correctly, is automated engineer. Automotive. Automotive engineer. I don't know why I want to call it that one. If you look very carefully, you can see. Or is it automation? It's I automation. Said automation. Oh my gosh. It's automation, automation engineer. That's what I said, and you're like, no, no, automotive. I was like, oh, okay. No, you're okay. right. It's, it's automation. We do this every time. We do it I say every it wrong. Time. Every time. No, I think it's me that usually says it wrong. But it's gorgeous. It. Yeah. It's just oh. so pretty, and it's so you, those colors. You can see that uh, if you look very carefully, uh, I knit an orange one too too soon at one point. <laughs> you can't tell. But can't see it on the back of a galloping horse. Uh, it doesn't matter. Yeah, not going to worry about it. I was like, you know what? It's fine. It's fine. I really don't care, to be honest. <laughs> but um, this is just one of those that, like, when I'm sitting down, I'm watching TV, and I don't need to focus. It's a good little, on the TV, not on my knitting, but if I, because... I watch TV, but I don't watch TV. Yeah, I, yeah. I'm always doing something else. Yeah. I'm on my phone, reading. Yeah, knitting. I'm, I'm usually work. I'm in front of the television. I've got a book, and I'm knitting. So, yeah. All right, I got three more. I have. I should have three more. Four. Oh yeah, you go again. That's right. You're you. You started this mess. I have four. Yeah, I did. I've got so many whips. It's not okay, this one's real quick. This is my purse knitting. Tote bag knitting is, I don't carry purse, I carry tote bag. And um, I've been working on this linen stitch thing forever, but last time y'all saw it, it was only about that long. I've doubled my length. <laughs> it's a linen stitch, which means it's knit one, slip one, all the way around, and then alternate the next row. I love the way it's turned out. That's pretty. Linen stitch is one of those stitches I really love the it's look of. It's beautiful. I like both sides. There's that side, and then there's the other side. They both look, and this, I just love this yarn. It was a, I've just had the one skein. She doesn't make yarn anymore. It's the Fawn and Fox, Fawn and Lynx. No, it's made out of Lynx. It's called Lynx. And it's a strange combination of fibers. Mm -hmm. It's an unusual fiber combination. But she hasn't dyed yarn in years. And um, they're pretty. It's pretty. It really is pretty. And it's very soft. And it's just I carry it in my bag. So when I get stuck somewhere, I've got you know, I've got knitting with me, no matter what. So eventually that'll get done. But I have made progress. I've doubled it in size. I'm so excited. So I did work on it this summer. I started this one and showed it last time. I had not even started the um, actual pattern section. I had just been doing the garter um, edge. So this is Maker's Dozen by Joey, which is Winter Weather Knits. That's right. Um, okay. So it's going to be um, essentially you make a shawl, a, a rectangle, and then you. Uh, sew parts of it together to make sleeves. It's a super cute. Um, Run it down. What you gonna call it? Sweater. Cardigan. No. Uh, what? 
like comp it's not composition what's the word i'm looking for construction construction thank you <laughs> goodness some days guys some days yeah it's been a long day <sighs> y'all i'm teaching sophomores this year well, five days in i hadn't killed one yet so <laughs> So you make a That's whole rectangle so and then you just kind of sew up the edges and make sleeve holes. I'm doing the really long one. Um, I just wanted something kind of oversized and I was like, why not? So I'll kind of show really you. Pretty. Um, there's going to be cables. There's 13 cables, which is the maker's dozen. And then there is this um, slip stitch. It's almost texture. kind of. Yeah. A little texture in there. Super easy. Um, and then there is garter sections. And so it's 13. Um, cables and then the garter and that textured sections going through this is uh my yarn in the shire it is our 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 my single ply um <laughs> fingering. Pipette. Pipette. Yeah. Pipette. yeah fingering Pipette. but i didn't get a lot done each of these rows takes a little while and i'm i was actually on a it's on a cabling row and so i was in the car and i was like oh yeah i'll do that and then i looked and i was like cabling i was like i don't want to cable in the car so it yeah. kind of just ended up getting shoved to the back seat for the whole trip to Texas because <laughs> then it gets that that's hot yarn too so yeah it's a lot of wool to carry on your yeah. lap in a hot car So, because no matter how much you blast the air conditioner when you're sitting in the sun on the in Texas it's hot they didn't make it difference how cool the air conditioner is Zach says it is the same heat we have here and I just I don't know how we can say that so okay I'll, I'll tell you the way I know I stand outside here and the sun is blazing and I can feel the heat, but it is not burning heat. If I take a step outside in Texas, I can actually feel the burn. Like my, my feet feel like they're on fire. It is a very different heat. And I it just, is. God and love him, but it's yeah. not the same. He just wants to move to Texas. <laughs> He's got it in his head that it's, he it's wants a better to to place Texas. to be. Um. <laughs> he wants to move to Texas. Okay, where am I at? Here we go. All right, this is one, Brand, this is new. Yes. I um okay we talked about Josh from Red Stag mm -hmm. and we've, we've shown you all this yarn before he sent us two skeins of his new sport weight um is it heritage I have, oh you have I'm you doing show manor, manor it's the manor collection it's a Polworth Mosham uh blend blend and it's Yorkshire sport is, is the name of his base and it's beautiful yarn all right so there's so you can see his label. It's a beautiful yarn. It's, it's okay. I want to say it's not definitely not super wash. It's it, you know people say woolly wool, woolly wool but yeah. it, it's not. It's toothy, so like you know it. It's got that wool toothy grab onto itself, but it's soft. It's, it's not. Very soft. It's not scratchy. I mean, at I could wear. I'm going to be wearing this up against my face and on my neck. But he sent us these two colors: antique linen, leather. Leather. And Antique then, leather and Gale. Or Gale. how do you speak? It's G-A-E-L. G-A-E-L. Yeah. G-A-E-L. But those two colors are just, I'll look at them. They look a little washed out on our side of the camera. They're a bit darker than what we're seeing, but. Um, they're beautiful. They're beautiful. They're absolutely gorgeous. So I started off doing, and I showed this last time. Mm -hmm. It's called the Brickyard Shawl, I think. And I was working on that, and I just. Didn't have it. I, it wasn't pleasing me. It's nothing wrong with the pattern. Excuse me, I have wool in my mouth now. <laughs> um, the um, pattern's well written. It's a nice pattern. I'll probably do it in a different kind of yarn another time. But it wasn't doing what I wanted it to do with this. So Frog Pond it went to, and I started looking for something else. Because what I'm picturing is a scarf or a shawlette that is half of each color. Mm -hmm. One half is antique leather, one half is the green. And when I wrap it around, they, they blend. And that's what I have in my head. So I found this pattern, which is the Mer Mer Meriton Scarfette by Piccolo Stitchworks. So, okay, so there we go. Again, it'll be in the show notes below. Let me see if I can't get that. My brightness is too high. Here we go again. Those of you who haven't been around before, Michelle has her brightness up way too high just because I'm old and I can't see worth a hoot. So there Look at we go. her doing so good without her cursing. There we go. I said damn in class today in front of the sophomores <gasps> yeah but one of their phones went off oh so yeah okay sorry 
I, I did. I slipped. I'm trying not to, but it did. So isn't that pretty? Look at that stitch pattern. It's it's garter and a little eyelet that runs up it. And the way the pattern is written, you you do the pointed end first and go to the middle. Then you do the other pointed and go to the middle and you graft it. I, I know I'm giving away construction details, but it's, it's a wonderful pattern. Y'all need to buy this pattern. It's a really great pattern. You're not giving away the, the stitch. I mean, that's yeah. a very different stitch. But that's how it's constructed. You do the two ends and graft them together. So um, I thought, oh, that would be perfect. I could do the two different colors and then graft them together in the middle. It'll work like a charm. And then I got the bright idea that I do it at the same time and do um, two at a time. Two at a time. Like two at a time socks, I'm doing, or two at a time sleeves, I'm doing two at a time scarf ends. And look at that. Oh, yeah. Oh, we well, should hide that though. That has your instructions on it. Let's well, see. I just want to hold it close enough okay. that they can see what I'm doing. Um, yeah, because I got tired. Once you get through all the increase increasing, all right, so you see I'm doing them two at a time on the same needle. Isn't that pretty? Look at the shading and the color. Oh, it looks so good together. Isn't that pretty? I cannot wait to get this done. So, see, this is what it's going to be like. I'm going to wear and it's going to wrap around. I'm going to have both colors. I just can't wait. Cute. All right, so what she's laughing at me for is I had to take these inventory tags. All right, Maggie Rigetti wrote knitting in plain English and then crocheting in plain English and then knitting design in plain English. Her books are all out of print now, and I, if I'm not mistaken, Maggie's passed on. Mm -hmm. But um, these books were fabulous. I, her books, especially knitting in plain English, really honed my knitting skills. I found it when I, back in the 80s, late, later 80s, when I was really trying to improve my knitting and trying new things. And this is, you know, pre-internet. And so you had books and you had classes. Yep. Well, I was all over New England at this point and I didn't have a local yarn yes, shop. Yeah, I stopped at a lot enough. of yarn shops, but I was, I was in eight, nine different states and two provinces monthly. I mean, I was, I was always going. So um, one of the things she said, the, her book really saved me. One of the things she talked about in hers, she called them idiot tags, <laughs> which I love the, the whole name, idiot tags. I like that. Um, she had somebody come in one time, and the woman had little notes pinned with straight pins all over her project. And she said, what are these for? She says, because I'm an idiot and can't remember what I'm doing. So these are my little tags to remind me what to do. So she was in the process of taking inventory at the shop she was working at and had a big top pile of these inventory tags. For you young people, that's how we used to count stuff. And once you counted it, you tag it, put how many was on there. And she replaced all the woman's pinned on notes with these little guys. So I always had these little notes on strings. You buy them at Staples, Office Depot, wherever. You order them on Amazon. They already got a string on them. They come in different colors and sizes. And you just write down where you were what you or yeah. what stitch pattern it that's what this is it's got the stitch pattern over here and the name of <laughs> and the name of the pattern right. so I won't forget and it's attached here so I don't have to keep opening my pattern up or carry a pattern with me because yep. all I'm doing is the same stitch pattern over and over and over and over so I have it with me all the time it is the version of knitting genius that is not tech it's, it's the, not tag it's not it's digital no I'm just trying to figure out a way we can word that but anyway, it's got my idiot tag on it. I like that. And um, so I always have the pattern. I don't have to open my phone up. I don't have to have a pattern pad, paper pattern with me. It's hanging off of my scarf as I work. That's going to get done because I want to wear that. <laughs> I just love this yarn, Josh. I love this mm -hmm. yarn. I'm excited to buy more. I am too. <laughs> He's going to be sad. Please have some Rayad. His yarn will be at sad. Is that, is that what it is? Rayad? Rayad? Rayad. Rayad. The camel. Whatever it is. I need it. I need it's more. beautiful. I love Okay, um, so as we were doing all of our things in the heat of everywhere, I decided I needed something that wasn't going to be hot, it's just like Michelle was talking about earlier, um, and she'll show this I got soon. Mine too. But uh, I we have a ton of True Boo from Lion Brand. It was like uh, oodles. Oodles. Like we just bought a bunch of it. We at both had tons of it in dollar colors. Um, so I was like, oh, that'll be really cool to cool as in. The temperature the touch yes uh, so I decided I was gonna start something with true boo I have a pull in my yarn there I have to cut that so this is the summer slip tee by knititude in true boo color raisin and essentially it's a bottom-up and it doesn't look like anything right now 
It's, it's gorgeous. It's a bottom up T that at the top, let me see, I'll show you. What's it. its name again? Uh, the Summer Slip Tea. Summer Slip Tea. I'm making notes so I can put them in the show notes. Sorry, guys. Here you go. Oh, whoa, that one's bright. Sorry. It's not just me. <laughs> yeah. So it kind of hangs off the shoulder. Uh, it is fitted at the bottom and then you do increases so it kind of expands out. That's by, then... what's her name? God Michelle. Uh, yeah. I follow her. Yeah, we both do because we like her stuff. Yes, and she knits with line brand yarn all she the does, time. She does, yes. So when I was looking for a pattern, I went to the True Boo and I went on to Ravelry and I said, I want patterns that were made for True Boo. Yeah. And this is one of these specifically. So if you go on to she Lion likes Brain, yeah, to she does. Um, if you go on to Lion Brain and look at their kits, you'll see a kit for this specific pattern. Like it's on there. Um, but you do, you do so many rows of the, just straighten it and then you start doing your increases on the sides. And it, I don't know if you can see it yet. It looks really cool, but you do the increases they so they're there. like this way. And so it gives a really good a really nice looking pattern look to it. Yeah. yeah. That's pretty. So that's um, really pretty. This has just been my I just knit when I need to knit. Um I'm on a, a section where I have to do increases so I have to pay attention just a little to change my knitting genius row so that I know yeah. if I want to increase row or not. But I really love the way this yarn knits up. Um this is definitely not summer knits or, or winter knits. Like this will not keep you warm at all. Mm -mm. Um, but That's it does have a good drape and it's pretty heavy. Like, a like, Trubuma like has a weight. beautiful drape. It's a good, good beautiful weight. drape. Okay, this one, I, this is this was my I need something cooler to knit crochet. And I don't know why, I'm, when I'm visiting my dad, when I'm in Texas, I want to crochet. Is that what your mom did? I, it must be, because mom, mom crocheted all the time. She eventually did learn learn to like knitting a little bit more but she mostly crocheted yeah. so maybe that's what it is it's just that. being there in the house mm -hmm. but um plus winter time I, crocheting for me is not as hot no because you know, i don't have even when i'm doing crochet blankets it doesn't weigh me down with knitting i guess you have it all right there with crochet you can almost put it all off to the side I feel yeah like. so it's easier to so it's not move off to the side and i posted some pictures of doing this so y'all did see my egg carton with the little balls of yarn as I was making granny squares after granny squares after granny squares and whoops there went one to the ground I'll get her later but I have all these little balls I did I was I'm working on the Jethro all right this is a Tannis Lava Lava Lay Tannis Fiber Arts pattern um, again I'll link it below and it's all granny squares for the back and then the fronts and you assemble them and sew them together and then you pick up and knit the sleeves and the bands which I love that idea because mm -hmm. it'll control the stretch of the drape and I use true boo too um, it stretches here's a hint do not block these granny squares with before you assemble them at least with true boo don't block them ahead of time because I misunderstood when she said the squares had to be five inches on the size that I'm doing she meant after assembly yeah and i thought it that. was before you put them together and so i blocked these puppies out to five inches, five inches and it overstretched it so i re them and, i mean i sewed them together and it, or joined them and then i re-blocked them so that they came back together um but bamboo does not like blocking anyway so i'm fine with the way it looks but it's look very open compared to what the pattern's gonna mm -hmm. look like or looks like in pictures um there's something else i was going to say about that oh well it'll come back and if it doesn't oh well it is very stretchy too so it is very stretchy it has a lot of stretchy stretch to it all right so this is the back of the piece and you see the colors i think that's upside down but anyway that's it's it's a rectangle oh i know what i was going to say in the pattern she links to a YouTube video that shows you how to join these all right so doing the squares was just doing the colors and then the like the light gray here that's what so I crocheted them together as I went and it was the best experience 
I love it. So I'm ready gray, to make all the all the gr granny so squares. All you had was the center, and you blocked those to five. I blocked those to five inches, and then the gray. Inches, and then oh, the gray. Yeah. Okay, okay. So see. It's better now, but they were really overstretched before. But I like my color choices. And see, I some I did solid, some I did um, five colors. Some I did two colors. I just kind of alternated. I was bored. I watched a lot of baseball. I did all this while I was watching Astros baseball. Thank God, I loved Astros. Oh my God, y'all, I just, I miss not being able to say it. So this is one of the fronts. So you can see the colors. That's one of the fronts. And this is the other front. Obviously, ends not sewn in. That's the other front. So now I've got to attach them at the shoulder and then pick up and do all the bands and the sleeves. But I'm excited about that part. I, like I it. think this is going to be gorgeous. Yeah. So now my daughter saw all this and she wants one, but she didn't want the Jethro style because she thinks it's too cropped. She wants longer and she wants a different yarn. So I'm going to do it in acrylic because. Oh yeah. Um. For washability and care, yep. kind of things, and um. I'll start that soon because I don't have a crochet project going right now. That'll give me crochet squares to make. And um, I'll do that for her. Okay. That was Jethro. All right. Do you have? I have one more. Okay. All right. My last one. This is uh, a cast on. I cast this on while I was in Texas. Um, this is the Harvest Cardi by Tin Can Knits in Brava Tweed from Knit Picks. Um, we have showed it before, but Tin Can Knits has their own app. For their their patterns and so you put in what size you're making and then it only shows you the information for that side so i put in the size um and it just shows me what i need but oh, here is your lady they are cute uh this is for a future baby i i'm not saying anything about who the future baby is because it ain't me <laughs> <laughs> it's not me either this is not for me got it Yo, yeah i wouldn't be able else. to keep that a secret no i, I figured you wouldn't have isn't it precious <laughs> So I just literally finished bind off the body. Earlier. Okay, so you think it's long enough? Which pattern is it again? The Harvest Cardi. Harvest Cardi by Tin Can Knits. I don't know what size on it. And then Brava Tweed. Yeah. Um, I don't know. It's silver gray or something. But so you start the pattern by making the band at the top, and then you pick up stitches, and then continue the band down down to the end. Oh, it's so, a fun knit. Oh, it is. Yeah, I've enjoyed it. Um, it's a fun construction, but so now all I need Just to do is appearing off screen. Tiny little chunky baby Oop. baby arm sleeves, and it'll be done. So sweet, it's gonna be perfect. But it doesn't need to be done anytime soon because it's not like they need a sweater right now. So no, it's baby too, not here yet. It's too, it, baby's not here, and it's <laughs> too warm in here. Yet. That is my my last whippy. I have one more, the one my brand new one. Okay, so y'all saw me. I've been talking to those linen stitch cows. I got this thing about, not linen stitch, seed, seed stitch. stitch. I've got this thing about seed stitch. I can seed stitch and rib all day long. I don't know why I like that knit one, pearl one thing, but it just, I don't have to look at it. It just makes me happy. And so I've been, I've done two cows now in seed stitch. And I got to thinking, okay, I need something that's a brain dead that I can just drag around everywhere with me in class. Like today, we watched Adventures of the Dancing Men, Sherlock Holmes mystery, because mm -hmm. we're talking about the codes yep. and solving and observation skills and all that kind of stuff, and we always talk about it. This is like the the eighty something time I've seen this video, it's and I watched it twice today again. So I need something to do. Just to, I just need something to do. Yep. Because can't get on my computer. So. And we can't have our phones anymore. So. Yeah, I can't use our phones. So because we can't, well, kids aren't using their phones. We're not using our phones. Don't don't hear us complaining about that. Uh, we are both We're not very happy with it. it. No. We, I will not use my phone all day long to keep the kids off of it. I have gotten better, but um, it's painful. It's. I was twitching by the end of the first day. Got we put our phones up at eight ten or a little before yep. that, and don't get them out until after we're done with kids for the day. Mm -hmm. And y'all. It's that funny first day, I was coming unglued. I was twitching. They were all making such fun of me. The kids are funny because you know which ones are super addicted to their phones, but there's plenty of adults that are the same way. I was coming unglued. She came and told me that. I was like, I would have not expected you to be twitchy. I feel like you it was funny. Coming unfreaking glued. Okay, so anyway, seed stitch. I didn't need another cow. I, was seed I didn't need another cow right now, and the kids neither want, none of the kids wanted a cow. So instead of making another cow and seed stitch, 
this popped up in my feed on Instagram somehow, some way. I don't even know, remember how. It's called the Janesville Jacket by Blue Sky Fiber. Isn't that cute? It's a boxy, just a boxy cardigan. Let's see if I can find, there's another, here's a picture of the back in a different color combination. So it's, it's seriously, it's just boxy. It's one size, just one size. It's finished to be like a 67 and a half inch width. So, um, and it's done in worsted weight. They're in wool stock, they're worsted weight. Um, but I've got, you know me, yarn stash, went stash diving. And I have six colors of Yarn B Katarina oh, yeah. from Hobby Lobby. So they, they it's color change. They don't make it anymore. I couldn't find it anywhere online. Um, but I have six colorways of it. And do they any of them match? Oh, no. But it doesn't matter. Of course not. Not a bit. Oh, oh, there's those colors. This one's more purpley, pinky. Oh, this will be good, though. You can and just... And then... You can make it one. work. And so, yeah. That's what I'm... Oh, well, that one went in sync. And then got stuck on the faucet. Okay, so... Um, I started with this this one and okay yeah I'm still in the middle of a row I was trying to get it finished this is what I've got done so far how good that looks so it's just seed stitch and um, it's striping up and so I figure I'll work out of one ball for a while and then I'll switch to another ball and it's just I don't really care what rhyme and rhythm it, I'm hoping it looks kind of woven I think it will way the way the colors are going to mix and change and I'm not, you know, it's gonna, whole thing's gonna look stripey because all of them are, well, I mean, like this one's just all blues and purples. It'll still have stripes though. It'll I bet. still stripe, but I'll probably, I'm not gonna do one whole ball. Oh, yeah, like, yeah. I'm probably gonna switch pretty soon to something else. And I'm just gonna keep switching the balls around and making it work. And it's gonna be all crazy, wild looking. Write down what you do on the sleeves if you want your sleeves to match. Okay. If you do this and you want your sleeves to match, just write down what you, you do. You should write this down. Or do it into two colors like it is on the on the pattern. Yeah. There's several people who did it in solid colors hmm. without the stripe. It was just all one color. And they're beautiful. But I'm, I'm looking forward to doing it and having it as like a shawl with sleeves. Because hmm. it's a bait. And I'll probably make it shorter because, you know, little short body T-Rex arms. But um, I really think I'm really, really liking it. And it, again, I, I did it today, watching the kids watch a show, and or taking notes and all that, and talking about what they were seeing. And I was knitting away; mm -hmm. didn't have to look at it. So that's my new brain dead. Work on it all the time when I don't need to look at my knitting. And that would be all seven of my whips. Uh, we're whipped out. And she had six, because I was writing them down and putting numbers next to them. Look at you. So um, now we get into acquisitions and I'm I'm gonna take a while guys she's gonna take a long time I want to sit here and knit yep so let's start with my oldest purchase that I can think of um, I think I told you guys it was on its way in our last episode I can't quite remember but um, Forbidden Fiber Co they we like moved um, and had a huge moving sale they did it again and I almost bought more and I was like stop you don't need any more yarn but they did a ton of grab bags of yarn. So I bought seven grab bags. <laughs> they were like $18 a piece or something. Okay, so let's let's look at one. This is uh, They're gorgeous. I like one. They are so pretty. Fortitude. Um, this was, I think, I'm pretty sure I paid $18. So I got three skeins of yarn each for $18. That's nothing. That's nothing. It's like six bucks a skein. Go ahead, justify it all you want, girlfriend. I'm with you. I'm I, with you. <laughs> and it doesn't count because I was helping some, helping a friend. Isn't that that's what right. Said? We're, that's right. We're Pearls helping and a friend. Pearls and Forbidden Fiber Co. Helping friends. Yes. I'm not taking any of these out because there's no labels on them, so I have no idea what they are if I take them out. But here's the first one. Isn't that pretty? It's pretty. Those three go together really well. They I actually do really do. Like, I could do a scarf or something. It's a very, it's yeah, shawl. So that's four to two. The, the middle one is, is very, it's tonal. It changes it mm -hmm. colors, blues and purples it looks solid but it's really not i mean it's solid but it, it changes tones within it it's very pretty i would take that in a skinny minute and this, these i love these are i when i saw these i immediately thought harry potter it looks like yeah, it three does. out of the four houses yeah so. it does um here's another of the fortitude sock weight slytherin slytherin Ravenclaw. Ravenclaw. 
Gryffindor. Yeah. yeah. Us Hufflepuffs got left out. We got out. left out. You could almost say the last. No, you can't. It's right yeah. down. But <laughs> those are really pretty. I saw those and that's the first thing I thought. It is pretty. Her Potter. All right. It looks so like her. Two gluttony socks and then I, oh, sorry, a uh, fortitude sock. A uh, fortitude fingering weight. Then it's, I got two of the gluttony socks. That's pretty. I just like, like just that. Just the colors together. The jewel tone. Beautiful, yeah. I mean, like, it looks like a some kind of rock collection. They did a, a fantastic job picking out my yarn. Oh, yeah. Look at that. That's pretty, too. This, this one right here. I love that green. It looks more green to us. It kind of looks blue on the camera, but... It's greener. It's definitely greener. It's like a jade kind of color. And I feel like I should have got more of this, but I didn't. I really should have. But I got one of the Alpha Sock, and Alpha is their tweed base. Look at that. There's the Hufflepuff. Gray and the yellow. There's the Hufflepuff right that. there on the end. Look, there's purple in there. Like, that right there excites me. Or uh, yellow and purple together. But those. Let me see that. It's like Wolverine. It does look like Wolverine. Still haven't seen that movie. I haven't either. My son, youngest child, my, Mikey, did. And he loved it. He said it was the best Marvel movie he's seen. Oh. It was like watching an actual comic book. I know. I, I want to see it so excited. bad. so excited. I want to see it. And then um, I'm really into Surrey right now. I know we've talked about it before, but I was like, I'm gonna buy some of the Surreys, and these are gorgeous. Okay, <laughs> can you see the colors? What are you laughing at? Uh, <laughs> that was just oh, look at I that. smacked that good Ooh, right there. Oh, I'm just, oh, I love that. And That's I'll so you. Look at this. Oh, this one. This one. Mm -hmm. This one was me. This is the one that I would have got. Look at those colors. That's my coastal grandmother right mm, there. Mm, 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 That's mm. pretty. So, that, I love that neutral one. one. Nine, so nine bags of yarn, and I know I didn't spend more than, barely more than $100. Like, it was it was not as much as I thought it would be. She did really good. She got a lot for her money. She I did. really, really did. And I helped out a friend. I feel really I good about helping out a friend. That's right, because they were moving. <laughs> Just like Jessica. You know, when the box showed up, that's what I told them. Big oh, box. Huge box. And they really, really needed help. They needed our help. <laughs> I'll keep going. I'm just storing it for her. Yeah. Just storing it for her. <laughs> oh, uh, I'm going to keep going because I have. Oh, yeah, because I've just got two little things. Okay, yeah. Um, all right. So next, uh, Furl's had their summer sale. Gosh, darn it. This is where she fell off the wagon in a major way. Yeah. Like that one I felt was like, like I said, I was helping out a friend and I didn't feel like I was doing too bad. And then Furl's had a sale and I was like, oh. So they always send fun little stickers with this one right here. Don't touch my furls. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I really wanted some smaller hooks from furls. They do uh, crochet hooks. Uh, and they don't handmade. do this. Yes, handmade. They don't do the smaller ones in like the acrylic. So I got purple heart. I get three of them. Heartwood. Right? Purple, purple heartwood? Yeah, purple heartwood. It's a reddish purple color. Like, it's, it's really, gorgeous. really pretty. It looks plummy. I mean, yeah. it's, it's definitely purple. And I, I tell you now, this is not... You go try to buy some purple. And the purple heart... Heart Purple heart's hard. It is. One, hard to find. And two, it's expensive. It's expensive. And then I cannot remember which of the star signs this one was, but I liked it. It's beautiful. So... I do love their crochet hooks. Like they have wonderful crochet hooks. I have one and love it, love it, love it. I used it on the baby blanket I made last summer for my baby Iris, who's almost walking. She's pushing her little walker thingy around and she'll stand up and take a step while you're holding her hands. She just won't let go and go any day now. Any day now, my gonna baby's run. gonna be walking. And then she's gonna be running. I mean, that, this girl wants to go. She's so cute. I think this is worsted, if I remember correctly. They it, had... It looks like it. Yeah, packs of their Wander acrylic yarn for relatively, I mean, uh, $30, I think. This is from... Still furls. So still they furls. Have yeah, they have furls carrying one. yarn. This that color is awesome. Is what color? Vineyard. It's Michelle's. <laughs> I like this one. I was like, I can make a sweater. I think it's my quantity. Definitely a sweater quantity. Absolutely a sweater quantity. Or I could do a bunch of little projects. And then this is, what color is this one? Moonbeam. Look, it's so pretty. It matches my hair. And again, <laughs> it does match your hair. <laughs> Sorry for the crinkles, but um, Sorry, right. they were pretty inexpensive as well. So it was like, I, it's like a 40% off sale. That's a good sale. What's the fiber content? Acrylic. 
Acrylic. Okay. Acrylic. It looks yeah. nice. It does. It looks shiny. Like I'm excited about. Like it actually looks like yeah. a, a shiny. Yeah. All right. So those were the two. No, I have more. No, she has. More. I was like, oh, online purchases. Yeah. yeah no, no I have she's more. got more. Okay. Uh, the next online purchase, I think, was the stitch markers. Do you want to talk about okay. those? Because you have them. We did a, a joint order on these. So um, Katie ordered some, and then I ordered some with her. So I'm here to long our arms. These are the um, Melody Snag Free stitch markers from Twice Year Cheap in her new like pastel matte color. Um, they're actually was it um, coated. So they're coated and so they're not, they snag free 100%. So if you have her other stitch markers, they can snag sometimes where the tiny little loop is on these because it's not closed metal. Like it's just, it's just shaped metal. Yeah. So these actually are coated and so they're not So they're, going the to. gap is filled yep. in. Um, I think she's got like silver and gold ones as well that are welded or soldered together. Yeah. Uh, same, same. But these are Look. the rainbows. But we like the rainbow pastels. Um, yeah, so super cute. Katie just gave them to me. So yeah, we, I, but we both ordered the same thing because I I opened mine and used them because I knew Michelle wasn't going to use hers before we talked on air because no. <laughs> I would have them. Okay, uh, it's and not then, like Michelle doesn't have a bajillion stitch markers no. of all kinds and flavors. All right, I got three more online orders. <laughs> I only have two. So. All right, we'll keep going. Ones. All right. Um, you keep going. Lemon. Lemon Wood. Lemon Wood Love uh, had, they started their new website. So Lemon Wood Love does the one, what do they call minder? One, yarn minders. Uh, yarn minders. Uh, the mini minders. We've showed them before. We both have purchased one. Um, they started their new website and needed people to test it out. And they're like, well, we'll send anybody who tests our website out free, free stuff. So. I was like, oh, I gotta help them out too. Yeah, helping out friends. <laughs> gotta help out the friends. So here's here one of the free items. This cute bag. It's it's a stiff canvas. Yeah. It's oh, nice. It, it, yeah, it's not it's, flimsy. Look how cute it is. It's a nice way. A whole it's gather, sort, spin, and love wool. Like I, I thought that was adorable. It is adorable. Holds a lot. And then the other free thing they sent was some metal coated stitch markers in this cute little tin. Yeah. It doesn't adorable. need another tin of stitch markers. I <laughs> bought more too, so it's not even. Um, so this was, I, I saw this and I was like, oh, I have to have this one. This has got like these cute little caps on it. Let me let me take this off. Yeah. Because I put it on there to show you what it looks like. So essentially, well, I'll show you. Yeah. Right. It's so knit and move. So you put this on your wrist and then this will hold your ball, hold of, your your ball of yarn while you walk or while you sit, if you want to sit with it on your wrist. I love, I've seen people hang it on the rearview mirror while cars. they're riding mm -hmm. and pull it right off of that. And so I got See the kitty? Cool. There's like these tiny itty bitty little cats on there and they glow in the dark. They glow in the dark. So it's really cool. And then I bought another um, wristlet Leash. Uh, with little puppy paws on it. I was like, oh, I love so little cute. puppy paws. <laughs> and I had to get free shipping, so I needed the puppy paws. Uh, I asked Michelle. She's like, I'm not buying it. And I was like, look at this cat one. I'm not buying it. I was like, dang it, now i got to buy something else. You appreciate me. <laughs> Damn you, Michelle. All my fault. All your fault. All my fault. Okay. And I have two Etsy purchases. Um, the first one I found, they're on vacation right now. Oh, no. I did not pull that one out, did I? Damn. You've got vacay written there. No, is it's another one. This is the, the vacay. The, the scrunchies. scrunchies. Yeah. Are those magnetic? Uh huh. There's a magnet on there. I put them on the magnet so I wouldn't lose them. Um, they're, they're stuck so to a magnet. Like oh. I just had a magnet in the house and I just just this them is out. so cool. Okay, so there, there's a magnet in the middle of that, and then they just drop in and they're metal. They're coated metal. That's really neat. Mm -hmm. That's really neat. All right, this is. I like those colors too. Come on, All Stitch Studio on Etsy. See if I can all stitch studio. All stitch studio. One word. I shouldn't guess there. All, oh, uh, all stitch. All stitch studio. studio. And so they have a bunch of different ones. Um, these are the large stitch markers, and I got both of the colors. So they've got blues and greens, and then reds and oranges and things. So you can see them all. I think that's all of them. 
Um, and I accidentally got one of their other stitch markers that's shaped like a little flower. So they have a set of the little flower ones like this. Um, I'm waiting for them to get the small ones in both colors and I'm gonna buy a set of the small ones because these, I have been using these for a lot of things recently and I really like them. Super yeah. cute. That is cute. Super cute. I like All right. that. And then the other Etsy purchase, this shop is on vacay. That's why I have it written on there. <laughs> um, I saw these scrunchies and I got super excited. So here's one that says, I heart science. And there's like a heart in the middle of an atom. Aww. And this one has oxalotls. And this one Which has. Which I had to crochet two more. Oxalotls. <laughs> and this one has little doxies. Doxies wearing sweaters. And then finally, of course. And she bought me one. So she could get her shipping. She yes. bought me one. <laughs> I think I would have bought you one anyway. I mean, in all honesty, I was like, these are too cute not to. It's too cute. It's all science. It all came about because. Gum it, Steph thought of us, and I you need to stop it, Steph. <laughs> <laughs> From a door net. A door net. Um, so she did a science themed drop um, before we left for break and everything. And then did said, I? I got one too. Not this not this fabric. One, yeah. I got a different fabric. I thought I you, had shown you. You did. You did. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So she had started this. I think it was about a month before we left for okay. summer. So. Um, but when she did her second one, I like this fabric a lot more than the first one, so I'm kind of glad I got to wait. What is in there? Oh, yeah. So, this little fabric actually matches our oh, yeah, scrunchies. Our scrunchies. It's just a bigger version of that. So, I bought all three. So, here's the little three itty sizes. bitty size. Here's the little wristlet size with a um, Adam stitch Should marker pull on there. With her name and on it, yeah. Embroidered handle with a door knit. And then the really big one. That's so Same pretty. So, a, so pretty. I don't think there's any pockets or anything in here, right? Uh -huh. But this is, I mean, I could probably fit. A couple of projects. Maybe, yeah, three projects or two. I don't think I could fit two sweaters in there. This is a big bag. It's huge. Um, and it's got a big bite base on it. Yes. Steph does a great job. She and her mom make these, and they they, they do a really good yeah, job. Look at, look at that. That's, That's so cute. I love the science so, fabric. Um, and I, I thought about just getting one, and I was like, no, I really like this fabric, so I might as well just go ahead and get all three, because she's not going to do it again. I'm yeah. sure. Uh, and then there was, like, this little s stitch marker set. Again, a door knit. Steph at a door knit does stitch markers that, if you like... Just rings? Fandoms. Oh, well, oh, yeah, we love too. her rings, because they she glues the little beads. See them? And I just love that. That's... I use those things yeah. non freaking stop. This one says chemistry. Yeah, and she she has the cutest fandoms and all the different things. She sent like dragons. A couple little extras. Yeah, she has all the dragons. I need to open these. And then of course there were some Harry Potter ones, and I was like, I need Harry Potter ones. Why not? Why not? Okay. Uh, so let's see. I've got Harry on a broom. Playing Quidditch. Uh, uh, I think this is a Dementor. I'm pretty sure it was a Dementor because he's playing Quidditch in the Dementors. And there's like a little book that goes with it and the Deathly Hallows. Like those are cute. And then, don't get those. This set. I, really I, know she sent, I know she sent free ones. I'm just not sure which ones I didn't buy. So she sent a little, little goodies here and there. She's always so good to us. She is. Thank flip, you, Steph. Flip. Flip. Okay. So. These are all Harry, so there's Harry Potter, so there's Hermione. And then there is a potions book, a Hogwarts snow globe, McGonagall, and Polyjuice potion. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> um, so those, those are, are my adornets, yeah. That's good. Uh, all right, you, you do one thing, because I've got three more purchases. So I'm <laughs> halfway through here, or a little over halfway. Uh, okay, I yeah, have- I won't tell my husband. I have one thing. Okay. I meant we mentioned bags earlier and I talked about Briar Patch Fibers um Andrew, not Patrick, Andrew. Um is um making bags and he's getting ready for Southern Comforts this weekend and he showed a bag the other day with cats all over it and I'm like, ah, I want that one. Well Julie from Button Jar Studios has been busy, busy, busy and she's got one that's got a dragonfly. I mean a big dragonfly and I can't wait. To see what all she's got going but she did a drop of 
these gorgeous little notion bags out of this book print and that. I had to have this these are some of my favorite books I read as a kid I know they're not really kid books but I, I those are the ones I read um, but I just this I swear I have somewhere a copy of Little Women that looks like that um, and my uh, Legends of King Arthur is very similar to that one so I'm so excited about this this print I can't hardly stand it but isn't it just the most adorable little notions bag and it's lined in this gorgeous little stripe um, as always Julie has the best quality she's so good and um, I can't wait to see her this weekend and get me some more bags like I need bags um, this is hers this is one of her from previous time it's a patchwork so it's a bunch of different fabrics that she had and this one is hers that I have Jethro in. This is one of her big queen bags. And um, this is Fat Bottom Girl. This is also hers with that bright lining. And I just love that stripe. That's just all I have today. <laughs> I have tons more Shit. of Julie bags. But um, that's all I have with me today. But that's that I bought this summer. I got from my jiggly, so I will be loading it up soon. Okay, put these stitch markers in there. There you go. Okay. Uh, there Tampa, we. I guess, is the next trip I took. Mm -hmm. So in Tampa, um, I I was at one, like the, one of the very first tables, um, and a woman came over and she was talking to the guy next to me, and I looked over and I said, "Oh my gosh, that's the night shift." And she goes, "Oh my gosh, you knit!" And so it was this immediate like. Uh, realization of you know we're knitters and we love yarn and the woman who sat across from her and at her table grading was also a yarn person she's a knitter um, and so we made this whole plan of we're gonna go to the one of the local yarn stores and I think there was only one we could really find um, Tamp the area of Tampa we were in had a adorable little trolley that was like free transportation public transportation and so the trolley essentially took us to the yarn store it was like two blocks from the trolley stop so it was a, it was a good little little trick ride there a little trick so we went to um pop yarn she gave me this cute little sticker Aww. um and she it was this adorable little girl i think she said i say little girl she was a woman i think she said they've just been open for about a year if i remember correctly so her stew is stew her store is fairly new um and of course i go in and i've got to find the local yarn like that's always my thing uh, and the, she showed us, she was so helpful, um, and I wish I could remember her name. It might be on her Instagram account. But she, we walked in, she, uh, all right, so we got grading, done grading at five. Right. And then um, her store closed at six. And so there was no way we were gonna be able to make it by the time we were done grading to her store and have time to look around. And what ended up happening is some days you have to work overtime and the last two days we were there that the store was open we had to work 30 minutes over so we would have never made it to her shop um, so I reached out on Instagram and she was so nice she she had a class whatever day we went so she was open an hour extra for the class and then she stayed open extra for us to come and buy yarn it's and so really of course, sweet yeah, of her. so sweet and of course I bought as much as I could financially buy because she was so sweet, so adorable, so accommodating. It's a cute little shop. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to pull the website up, but not my, very big. I don't have much of a signal right um, here. So we, you know, we walked in. She was super excited, and she showed us all her yarn, and she had all these like. Um, she told us about every single yarn she had, essentially, and she had a lot of yarns so that were eco-friendly. That's her big thing, is she's trying to carry um, eco-friendly yarns which I'll I link a, her website below. yes below check it out please please check it out I want I'm, I'm excited to go back next year because we'll be in Tampa again and I want to go back and like go to her store again um, the ladies I, were, I was with we decided the yarn we bought we're going to use to make a shawl that we wear while we grade because it is so freaking cold <laughs> in that room which I can understand there's like tons of computers and they're trying to keep it cold but I froze so much uh, I only brought one um, I've lost my pen. Oh my gosh. Here, you wanna borrow one of mine? <laughs> I've lost my pen. Um, I'm trying to write all this stuff down. I bought one, brought one sweatshirt. I brought two hand knits, but they were not, they were like to wear in the heat, not to wear in the freezing cold. 
Um, I ended up having to buy another sweatshirt because I either need to do laundry or buy a sweatshirt. So there you go. So we're making a shawl that I'm taking with me. I just haven't decided what yet. So I always buy the, lo the local stuff. In there she has Kitty B by the Sea. I think by the Sea is this yarn base, not, not the name of the thing. Uh, this is hand dyed in Sarasota. It's gorgeous. Oh, yeah. So stinking pretty. Yep, by the sea, long boat. This is beach tastic. And this is a mohair. It's so pretty. I would have bought all she had. I did buy all she had. I'm pretty sure I did anyway. Oh, I love I that, that color. So I got there's two skeins here. And if color. I didn't buy it all, um, I had a plan. I don't know what that plan is anymore, but I had a plan. <laughs> but it is <laughs> so pretty. Like this these colors are beautiful. And then um, there was none of this on the shelf, and then I saw there was this cute little kit in a bag um, for, it had a hat, a sweater, and leg warmers, or paint no pants, for a baby. And Ooh. I was like, ooh, this kit is adorable. And she she's had doing baby knit. One with blue, and then she had this one with purple, and of course I got the purple one. Look at those colors. Isn't that sweet? So it came with a pattern for free. And then it also came with the buttons that you need. I'm not sure I'll make that pattern. I'm not sure I'll even make this baby thing. But you should feel this, by the way. Um, this is Pima cotton. Beautiful. And it is just. It is so, so pretty. So this is in, she's in Sarasota, mm -hmm. the Dyer's There's her uh, website Nitty there. Bang. It's uh, linked below as well, but there is her website. It's Nitty called Bang. Boca. Boca, yeah, this is Boca. Oh, sorry. So it is so pretty. Um, awesome. And then I, she had these, these are cool cotton. I'm trying to remember, I, I can't remember if these were eco-friendly or not, or if there was something about them, but I saw these and I was like, oh, I want those. So this is a uh, Katia cool cotton yarn. It's very pretty. Look at that. I got three it's or four of pretty. these, but I got several of them. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it, but it's cute. Um, and I liked it. And then she had these, I looked them up. You might. Do you know anything about pip stickers? Yes. Yeah. So. Oh yes, I love pip stickers. These are hedgehogs with yarn and knitting needles and things. Look at how cute. You're kidding. No, no. I found my pen. Look at them. Oh. See the little balls of yarn. My and stars. Look at them. I got. I gotta have the numbers like. Right <gasps> and I love hedgehogs. I know. I know. She had a ton of Those others too. Those are so cute. But I bought just the ones that they're super cute. Oh Knitting hedgies. Knitting hedgies, yeah. Knitting hedgies so is what the name of the sticker pack is. So adorable. So, please go check out if you're in the area or um, you're looking for yarn. Go go online to her website. Check her out. I I really want her to stay in business. Again, I don't think there was another yarn store nearby where we were doing our grading and stuff. So I need her to stay open for next time. We did meet two other people while we were there. Um, they were both statistics graders, so they never seen according to them. They never have to stay over for grading. So they went on, oh, it was the first day it was open Wednesday. They, the girl went on Wednesday um, and we ended up oh. doing overtime grading. Uh, there's, okay, yeah. There's a ton of different knitting ones. Yeah, she had a yes. bunch of different ones. Um, somebody showed me how to use the lens on Google search. Okay. It was the wrong image search. thing to do because yeah. I Google lens everything now. There is, yeah, they have other knitting ones, but she had these, and I was like, I have to Those have are the cute. knitting. I like, no, I like Pipstick stickers. Yes. I do. They're, I'm a planner. Mm -hmm. I, I play with planners. Let's just put it that way. I play with my planners and change them around and do all this stuff. I'm into the stickers and everything, so, yeah. I have two more purchases. I have one. Okay, well, I'll do the one from Rachel. It's not really a purchase, but I'll do that. And then I'll talk about that one last. Oh, yeah, save that for last because that's the Mambo Granddaddy. Woo! Purchase. I'm about to make somebody a lot of money. All right. My sister went to Japan with her husband. They went for, I think it was like a week and a half. Yeah, they were gone. They were gone for a little ten, while. At least 10 days. Did their, did their whole thing. And she sent me this text message. And she goes, hey, we're going to possibly go to this yarn store. What do you want? <laughs> yeah. And I think I told you guys about it. I'm super excited. But she went in. She said it was a cute little shop. Like, she showed me a picture. It was almost like a little, like, um, building in, like, a, a strip. But it had a little cottage look to it. It was so cute. Like, uh, adorable. But she handed me the yarn. I asked her how much. And she, she said, I don't remember. It's yours. <laughs> so, it's, it's free. It's free yarn. 
But she got me two colorways. So there's this one. It's beautiful. And this is Amaru's. Amarasu? Amaras? Amarasu? We, we don't know. I don't know. I don't want to. But it's house dyed yarn. So it's dyed at that shop. Um, and I think the shop was called Parade. I could be completely wrong about that. But I think it was. No, no, no. Parade is the, the color. Because it looks like a little parade. So there's four of those. And then she got me this one, which is Trek. And this one, oh my gosh. This is gorgeous. Look at that. Look at I don't know that it's showing online as, as pretty as it really is. Those pastel y blotches, speckled things. God, it's gorgeous. Uh, it's so pretty. Rachel did such a good job. Both of those are really good. Rachel did good. Uh, yeah, hand dyed by A M I R I S U. So, Amarisu. 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 Mm -hmm. They're online. We don't know. I'm pretty sure you can order from them online because that's how I showed her the pictures of the stuff I wanted or the stuff I was interested in. Um, but I don't know for sure. All right, I'll let you do yours and then I'll do my very, very big purchase. Okay. My is a yarn online purchase. Um, I um, oh, I want to show you the pattern I'm going to use, but so I probably should pull that up. Um, My brain quit. Well, this pattern had come out. It's called This Little Shawl of Mine. And, um, no, that's not what I want. Go back. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I thought I had, was ready, and apparently I'm not. So, um, I thought, yeah, here it is. This Little Shawl of Mine. Um, and the yarns that, okay, it's a Tiff, isn't it Tiff? Neelan? No, hand knit by Cam. Hand knit by Cam is the designer, and these yarns that it's shown in right here. It's two surreys and a fingering weight speckle. So this fingering weight speckle and the two surreys, and I turned up my brightness because I couldn't see it anymore, and now y'all can't see it. Okay, let's try this again. Okay, there's the shawl. So see, it's in the, the peach and white, or pinky peach and white. Um, Surrey colors and then that that uh, variegated speckly thing is is with it and I just thought that was so pretty but I mean the, the yarns in this one are, are yarn experiment experiment yarns Monica who's here in Greenville um, and those are her yarns and I'll link her her yarns below just just cuz give give a friend gotta do something for her friends That's right. but those and, and I and I went to, to get yarn experiment yarns for it but the colors just weren't gonna fit for me well right about this time plies and hellhounds um gabby i think it's gabby um i've bought yarn from her before um crescent city based mm -hmm. colorways but book series with sarah j moss crescent city books they were colorways based on some of the characters and the sayings and stuff in those books and i've got those and i've got all kinds of plans and i keep changing them but she came out with a she's got Surrey now that she does in the tunnels but she also came out with a dragon from House of Dragon which my dad and I watched he rewatched all of season one this summer and started season two and I've seen don't don't give me spoilers don't tell me anything because I've only seen the first two episodes of, of season two school started and I haven't gotten caught up so I'm gonna get there just give me time ain't no time but one of the dragons the largest dragon it, in the beginning of, of season two is Vagar. Vagar. This is Vagar on 70% BFL, 20% silk, 10% cashmere. Look at this color and see all the hints of other colors in it. I fell hard for this color, so I had to have it. And that little shawl of mine. And so, whoop, these two are my Surreys that are going to go in and stripe it. So this is going to be called Little Shawl of Mine and Dragon Centered. So yes, I thought that was so pretty. I can't wait. I'm going to skein it up and start it soon. I didn't yet because I wanted to show you all the skeins. So it's um, this is what she calls her Morris Lace. It's 75% Surrey and 25% Mulberry Silk. And it's so soft. Oh, it's very soft. This is Solitude, the blue. The green is withdrawing. 
and this is Vagar, based you know on the dragon. And that really is the color of the dragon in the show. So that's good. There we go. That'll be pretty. I like that. I only that really is all I got, guys. She did so much better than I did. I just I didn't go to any shops, and I I just didn't. Oh my gosh, I have two more. I didn't do any of, of, of shopping, so. I'm ready for this weekend. Let me just say that. I am ready for Charlotte, for Southern Comforts. Yes. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> All right. All right. There's one on the floor I forgot about. I'm done. <laughs> All right. Uh, while we were in Texas, this is not the big surprise one. Sorry, guys. While we were in Texas, um, we wanted to check out a different yarn store. So I've been to Yarnivore several times, but this was Unraveled. Um, and I'm trying, it's, it's in San Antonio, like that area, so it wasn't too far from my sister's house. But, um, I went in there and Zach left me in the yarn store unsupervised. Now, again, this is money that I earned over the summer doing my job, so it's not like I'm spending our money on things I'm not supposed to. I, I worked very hard for this, I haven't bought almost anything all year, and then over the summer, I was like, I'm getting the things I want. So, I went she in, earned the money, I did, I did. Went in, looked at a bunch of things, and I was like, I want local, of course. And then um, I looked at everything else. So last time. Just color thing going oh, in case you're wondering. Yeah, There's a color thing going here. Oh, yeah. Um, when I went to Yarnivore last year, I got yarn from Euphora. Was it Euphora Knits? Euphoria Knits. Um, and she is local to that area. I'm trying to think about where she is. Maybe it's on here. I know she's in Texas. Texas. That's, I can remember that. But So she had a bunch of Euphoria, Euphoria Knits yarn there. And so I found some that I really liked. So I've got these two to go together, I think. Gorgeous. This gorgeous. is a... This is a DK. Nope. It's fingering, I think, isn't it? It does not. Or sport. It actually doesn't say. That's fine. I'll look it up when I need to. It might be fingering. It might be sport. It could be. I don't think it's DK. It's not thick enough to be DK. And then this is a Surrey. It looks. Yeah, Surrey Bliss. I have I don't even know how to pronounce. It's Y G G D R A S I L is the colorway. Yeah. Not trying. Not even trying. And then this one is Calcifer. But I thought those two looked really good together, so I'm just gonna do like a cowl or something with them. It's pretty. I just really love those colors. I had about eight or nine of her yarns in my hand as I walked around. And I said, no, I can't do that because I had looked at all the yarn and then there was a clearance section in the back. So I went back to the clearance section after I'd looked at it once to pick up some stuff. And while I was back there, I was holding these. Look at how pretty those are. Let me throw them at you. <laughs> um, just really liked these two. I think they're the same thing. So this is um, Panorama Fiber Arts uh, Backcountry. Oh no, no, sorry, Nautilus. That looks it, like yeah. my caramel ribbon crunch drink. I like at Starbucks. Oh yeah, it does. Look at those. It those looks just like in it. There. So I was holding these and the um, Euphoria Knits yarns while looking at some of the um, clearance stuff. And the lady was having a class back there, and she looked over and she goes, "Oh, I love her yarn." Uh, unfortunately, she's no longer dyeing yarn anymore. So Pan Panorama Fiber Arts, she adopted, I think she said four kids in their teens, never been a mother before, never been a parent before, and just adopted four kids like in, in their teenage years. Oh, and God I, bless her. So I turned around and I picked up more yarn from Panorama. One, because she's no longer dyeing yarn, and I, there was others that I liked that I was like, oh, I should grab those. But two, because I wanted to support her. I know she's probably already been paid for the yarn she dropped off there, but that was yeah. that story just touched my heart. I like, she's, she's a saint. Um, yes. So there was four of these. That's a sweater's worth yeah. up there. Oh, Look that's so pretty. I love that. Newspaper ink speckle oh, yeah. oh, yeah. going on there. This is Snow Leopard, and I think these are all Snow That's Leopard. That's a good name. Yeah. Yeah. So I got four of the Snow Leopards. That's, that's lovely. So lovely. Um, really love that. And I, so I picked that up. And then there was this one on clearance. So this is a, a La Jola. Um, Which is ball yarns. Ball yarns. Uh, yeah. for, this is the January 2022 colorway. And I hoped I was looking for more, and there wasn't more, but they had this in the clearance section. It's pretty. Uh, so I bought it. They'll make a great cowl. Oh, yeah. Or scarf. 
it kind of thing. Beautiful color. So if you have any January 2020 running around and you want to get rid of it, <laughs> she okay. pick them up for you. One last thing. I have had this in a cart since they started, and I think it's been a little over two years since they started making these. Yeah. Um, the Christmas that year, Zach asked me what I want for Christmas. I told him this, and then we looked at the price, and I was like, never mind, don't, don't worry about it. So this is all genuine leather, handcrafted wonderfulness. Um, if you know anything th about thread and maple, you know that they have binders. <laughs> First of all, uh, they make two sizes. They make the small and the jumbo. The small holds four pages and the jumbo up to seven. And I said, what the hell? Might as well be hung for a sheep as a lamb. <laughs> Just get the seven. So I bought the seven. Um, actually, I put the seven in the cart. I put seven pages in my cart. And I said, no, I can't spend that much money. If you want to know what, how much it is, go, go add them to your cart and find out. They're doing furls, crochet hooks for their pages now. They're doing oh. lantern moon. Those needles I sent you, they're like $200 a set or whatever, however much they were. What is it, like $60 for a needle? Like yeah, tips. one tip. Just the tips. So tips. Um, there's those, I don't remember what those were called. I don't like remember Dream caster, started with a D. Um, but they have a bunch of different ones now. They even have the clover crochet hook pages. So they yeah. have all kinds of pages that go in the binder. So I got the big binder. So you pick the page, needle page, depending on what brand. Yep, about got. what you want. So in the front here, there's some pockets. There's a, a snap pocket there. And then and a then loop at the top to catch wires, uh, and cables. Yep. In the back, you've got a like straight needle. Uh, or hole. crochet hook. Yep, section. Uh, and then you just add whatever pages you want. So it unbuckles here and here. There's a zipper you, on the back. Oh yeah, there's a zipper. I'll probably have a zipper on the back. Um, so you unbuckle it, you put the pages in, pull them out, whatever you want to do. These pages are genius. Okay. Now, I, this is so soft. <gasps> yes, it is. It is so soft. It is so soft. Um, it's, it's genuine leather. It's, it's not be, stiff. It's, oh no, it's gorgeous. It's beautiful. Gorgeous. I have four sets of chow goose. I've got the five inch, the four inch, and then two of their like mini That's sets. The mini set. So the, the mini sock set, and then I have the mini small set. So it's like the um, super little ones, and then all the way up to I think size eight in the short. So it's like two and three inches. Mm -hmm. Yeah, two inch and three inches. So the pages, you could literally just buy the pages. The pages. So this is the Chow Gu complete set page. All right, so it comes in like this, uh, and it has these Look, there's all my needles. I could take them everywhere. I could put them on a different page if I wanted to because they're Velcroed. There's even a zipper on there. But the best the part. Gadgets and gizmos that go with the interchangeable sets. There's another pocket or anything. Okay. Best part. This is a page. Here's where it goes into the loops. But it also has Strap. snaps so that you can carry just this with you. With you. So you could get just a page. You don't have, have to get the whole binder. You can get just the page that fits whatever needles whatever you, you have. So if you're wanting to get some and you're not ready to buy the binder yet. There it is. Look at that. Ah, so exciting. So gorgeous leather. Oh, it's beautiful. Um, so I got the two. The aroma sitting here next to all this leather is unbelievable. I got two of these, uh, one for each of my complete chow goo sets. So you've seen that one. I bought two of those. Then I have for each of my minis. I have a page so you can see like how short those with that one set is there um, on these pages there's two options this one is like the Rolodex version and so it comes down and all your cables go in these little zip pouches and there's a zipper on the back it's about that version and then there is the file folder version I think is what they call it where you have like a pocket and it looks almost like uh, expandable file folder and yeah. you just sit your, your cables go in these little things. So I bought more of the zip pouches when I bought it because I knew I had a lot of cables so I bought extras. Extras. So those are my, my minis and my chow goose and I think that's the only ones I got. I again I added my every needle set I had to the cart but I was like I don't have enough lantern moons. Um, I don't use straight needles. There's no point in me buying, buying anything that can hold straight needles. Um, the furls is next on your list. Yeah. Yeah, the furls. The furls. All my furls, yeah. It's but. gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. And every time you look at it, you can think about 
your AP trip. Mm -hmm. How much? Yeah, how, how much, much your AP how job? How much work it was to get this beautiful, beautiful thing. But again, yeah. like I said, my husband asked me that year what I wanted when they first came out, and this is what I wanted. I wanted the binder. Yeah. But it's beautiful. It is just absolutely beautiful. It's got a little magnetic holder to it. But it's again, um, engraved. Oh yeah. With their like logo. I guess that shows. But yeah, thread and maple. It's beautiful. I only have four, sure. four pages, so it's there's gorgeous. room for more. There's room for expansion. And I could buy more pages if just not putting them, put them in the binder. I could leave them loose like this too. Yeah. So um, this is probably the biggest purchase I've ever made knitting wise. Besides, like when I started dyeing yarn, like I spent a bunch of money to get all you that stuff. Got to get all that was, basics. Yeah. So when we finally do our uh, d stash. I'm pretty sure my Delic needle binder will be in there to so see you guys. <laughs> I, I haven't even loaded mine up. <laughs> I still haven't even loaded it up. It's in there empty. Oh, oh no, the moment, that, the moment I got home from Texas, because it was delivered while we were in Texas, I pulled it all out and put all my needles in as fast as I could. <laughs> it's gorgeous. It's the kind of thing you, you could sleep with it. I mean, it's just, it's lovely. Uh, it's and it smells so good. Yeah, it's so, so pretty. I I splurged on myself. That makes me want to get a page. Just get a page, yeah. Just for needles. I love that. I, I think the page, the, it's all relatively inexpensive, but when you start adding it all together, yeah, there, it becomes a it, huge purchase. But if you want to do it in sets, buy a page here and there. Piece by piece. The, the reason I pulled the trigger is their four-year anniversary. Yeah. They did a sale. Um, yeah. So maybe they've been making these for four years. But I felt like they made other things first. But I can't remember. They didn't right away, but they did soon there, soon okay. thereafter. So maybe it's four. I just know that when they first the came little out, the little things they I mm -hmm. think is what they started with was a smaller stuff. They have Notion pages, so you can put all your notions on yeah. there. They have ones where you can buy the stuff that fits in the Notion page, so mm -hmm. you can buy the page. That's the one stuff. that a lot of people carry. Mm -hmm. They get that page first. It's got and all the notions in it, carry and use like that to carry around with them. But yeah, I want to say anywhere from. What seventy five to one hundred dollars per page? That's, but when you can, but I mean, again, it's really high quality leather. Yes, it's buy one really, at a time and, really well done. Yeah, really, really well done. I did get free shipping. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. Oh yeah, oh yeah. But yeah, I will say it's. I thought I was gonna get it and be like, oh, I'm so disappointed with my purchase, but I'm not. Sometimes when you make those big purchases, you're afraid you're gonna be like, oh, yeah. I shouldn't have done that. No, I'm not like that. This is this is so well made and so well done that I am. Or you'll have it for your rest of your life. Oh yeah, I mean, yeah. It's it's heirloom quality. I'll have to heirloom like, quality. Leave it in my will. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. For a niece or nephew, it's I guess. That kind of thing. I have to teach Charlie how to knit. I have to. <laughs> Charlie's are one of her nieces. Well. We're almost at two hours. <laughs> yes, we are. This is why we're not doing want to do today, guys. This is why we're not doing want to do today. Um, Although, I'm going to do one. Do one. Do one. Might do two. Um, well, I kind of did one with little shawl of mine. Because okay. that's what I bought that yarn for, is to do little shawl of mine. Um, Stephen West came out with a new shawl pattern today. Um, a, it's a little, a smaller shawl. And being in the South, the smaller shawls are really cool. It is called picnic shawlette so by Stephen West and you can see that it has that whole stripe look going but let me where's that picture that's a better shot there we go you can see it's a slip stitch so it's two two yarns it, he's done it in a tonal green and then the white stripe or the lighter stripe is actually a speckle but you can see that it's the slip stitch kind of thing. It looks like little slashes. It is really, really cute. And um, let me flip back to where you can see what the shape is. It's a asymmetrical triangle kind of shape. You can see it stretched out there. But that's called Picnic Chalet. And I don't know about y'all, but I got a bajillion two color combinations of yarns where, oh, yeah. you know, two single skeins and they look good together. They've got a nice level of contrast that I think this may get done fairly and it's not it's not huge it's not a big huge huge shawl um i was gonna show 
um, the Drevo pullover. Um, I think it's Drevo or Drevo, I'm not sure, by Teti Lutzak. Lutzak? I, I not, I'm sorry that I'm butchering the name. I love her patterns. They're very textured and this is such an unusual construction. I just, oh, it just absolutely amazes me. Um, I follow her on Instagram, so I was watching as she was posting um, in progress, and you can see it's a really different construction. That angle that it's made at, I'm trying to see if there's one of them. We can see it a little bit better. But, um, sorry guys, I'm trying to find a picture that'll show. Well, this is a close-up, straight on close-up. You can see the angles and the construction. I just, that just amazes me how that's done. I really, really want to cute. give that a, a, a try. So that's a couple of the things I've got in my wanna do's. Just so you know, we got a little, little wanna do in there. I have some, but again, we'll do we'll do more next time because Katie had to show y'all all the stuff she got. So it was two months, and yeah, I mean that's that, that's a lot. It's not like she did that all yesterday. Um, no, no, it's been again, spread over the last two week, two months, two it's actually, weeks. It's actually been over three months because the the Forbidden Fiber Co stuff was ordered um, before took, we videoed yeah. last time, we recorded yeah. last time. It just hadn't come in yet. Yep. So three months worth. That's so, that makes it feel better, yeah. doesn't it? And um, I worked. I worked for. Her she earned it. No, she that. earned it. So. And I think it's awesome. <laughs> Yay, Katie! <laughs> <laughs> so, all right, guys. Uh, we will hopefully see some of you this weekend at yes. the Southern, Southern Comfort, Comfort Fiber, Fiber Show, Show Festival Expo. <laughs> Whatever. It's in Charlotte at the Oasis Shriner, Shriners Club. Check below. It'll have the actual name. The yeah, <laughs> we'll we'll put the links to it below. But you just Google Southern Comfort Fiber, and it'll pop. Um, it's going to be fun. We're excited about it. And We're then on Saturday, make your plans for October for SAF, um, the 18th and 19th yeah. that weekend. And we'll be there too. If you have any questions for us, any comments, please, 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 please comment below. Yes. And um, again, all the show notes will be below. I'll go back and type it all up, and Katie <laughs> puts it in because that's technological. I can type, but yeah, that other <laughs> stuff, yeah, no. And. Um, I can't think anything else. I think that's it. Yeah. Yeah. We're cool. glad to be back. We are glad to We're going to get back in our two week, every two week yes. rhythm. And um, hopefully there'll be together some stuff going on yeah. that we can talk about later. Oh, there will be. I'm yeah. sure. We'll come up. With we'll have ac I will have acquisitions next time because we're going to a show this weekend. And Michelle is excited. I'm going to do a lap first and then I'm going to buy unless we see something. No that promises is. about how anything works. Like I said, I already got two purchases lined up. One from Bride Patch and one from Button Jar. <laughs> I'm excited to see see Andrew and Julie. Yeah, it's gonna be and fun. Channy P. Oh yeah. Hopefully. Can't wait to see her. Yeah. Alright, so Alright everybody, we'll see you next time and, and knit periodically. Bye. <laughs>